Hi everyone, welcome back to virtual programming with Boys and Girls Clubs of the Fox Valley. My name is Miss Chelsea, I work at the Downtown Club here in Appleton. I'm actually really excited to be sharing today's art project with you. Um, as I've been creating these videos, I've been really trying to keep our supplies to a minimum because not everyone has access to things like beads or paint um, or other special items that you might be able to get when we do our projects at club. So for today's project, I will be showing you how to make paper beads. Um, so it's something that uses only a few materials, but then once these beads are created, we can start doing projects related to jewelry. Um, which I think will be a lot of fun. So not only do you learn a technique to make your own art materials, but it will also be useful for other projects down the road. Um, so why don't we get started and I'll show you the materials and then I'll show you how to make the beads. So for making paper beads, the materials we need are pretty common that you can find around your house. Um, so you will be needing some glue today. You will need liquid glue. Um, glue sticks could work, but not as well as the liquid glue will work for making the beads. Um, you will also want some scissors and then probably a pencil and a ruler for when we measure and cut out our beads. The other thing you need will be any type of scrap paper that you have. So this can be paper with fun patterns, it can be old wrapping paper. If you don't have wrapping paper or any other paper, um, you can always use old magazines. Um, so this is really open to whatever kind of paper you have in your house. The last thing you need will be a small, thin rod. So I have some skewer sticks that you'd use for barbecuing. Um, you could also use like a toothpick or a straw. Um, you could probably even use a pencil or a pen, just know that it's gonna get covered with glue and you probably won't wanna use it again. Um, really anything that's kind of thin um, that you don't mind getting a little bit of glue on would be best for this project. So. For this project, I did lay down just an old piece of paper I have because you will be getting glue probably on the table and on yourself. Um, so obviously we're washable, but if you're working at a table that you don't want to get too dirty, it's best to lay down a piece of paper or something that will help minimize the mess. So what we're going to do first is pick your piece of paper that you want to start with. Um, I'm going to start with a piece that I've already cut. Um, as you can see, it's probably about half an inch wide. Um, there's really no right or wrong size for the beads. Just know that the bigger your strip of paper, the bigger your bead will be. Um, so I've kept mine a little bit small because I like the smaller beads. Um, but as I said, the size is completely up to you. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper, lay it on top of your surface, and then take your skewer or your stick and you're going to place it probably about half an inch from this bottom of your strip of paper. All right, then you're gonna take your glue and you're just gonna put a little line on your paper. And I like to use my finger and just spread it out a bit so that the paper doesn't get too wet and gets too soggy. So once you've done that, you're gonna take that little bit of paper that's left on the edge and you're going to fold it over the stick and match it up to the other side that's gluey. All right, so do you see how those pieces are stuck together so that they won't come apart? So once that's done, you're going to very carefully start rolling your paper. So I said carefully because if you don't work slowly, you're going to end up with a bead that's a little wonky looking, which is honestly okay, but if you're looking for beads that are a little bit uniform, then you wanna work slowly and make sure your edges are matching up. So I've reached the end of my glue, so I'm gonna add a little bit more glue onto my strip of paper. Again, I'm gonna spread it out with my finger a little bit because I don't want my bead to get too soggy. And then I'm gonna keep rolling. So as you get closer to the end of your bead, 
Um, what I like to do to make sure that the beads stick together well is not only put a little bit of glue on the end so that sticks down, but also you see the little flap there at the end. I also like putting a little bit of glue on the outside and just kind of rubbing it down with my finger so that it seals really well and doesn't want to pop up. So, and you might need to hold your bead for a couple seconds to make sure that um, those ends don't pop up at all. Once your bead is dry, or at least sticking together, you can go ahead and slide it off your stick. And then there's your bead that you made. All right, and you're gonna wanna set that aside and just let it dry a little bit, because if we play around with it too much, it's gonna fall apart. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own paper beads. Um, once you have made them and they've dried, you can add them onto a necklace or a bracelet and they turn out pretty cool. But anyway, I really enjoyed this project and I'm really excited at all the possibilities we'll get to do and the other projects we'll get to make with the beads. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I would absolutely love to see any beads or jewelry you've made from our paper beads, so please do share if you've done this project. Um, otherwise that ends our project for the day and again I really hope you enjoyed it I really enjoyed bringing this project to you guys so as always I'm really proud of you for learning something new and continuing to grow each and every day um, especially I think it's really cool that we're learning how to reuse materials and be sustainable um, during our time at home I wish each and every one of you all the best and I'll see you on the next video